1969, while on stage, Elvis said, the young man on lead guitar is one of the finest guitar players I've ever met. His name is James Burton. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Rock and Roll Hall of Famer James Burton to the show today. Thank James, you, great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. You know, when we talked about having you on the show, I felt like there was an interview that was uh, once done, Chris Farley interviewing Paul McCartney on Saturday Night Live, where he couldn't get the questions out. He was just going gaga. And I'll be honest with you, that's what I was afraid I would have having you on the show, that I would have one of these meltdown moments and wouldn't be able to talk, because as a guitar player, to be in the same room with you is a pretty big deal. You're an humble man, but I'm telling you, all of our guys are pretty jazzed up about you being here today. This is a big thing for us, so thank you for coming and, and humoring uh, guys like me and the rest of this band. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Mike. God, God bless you. You know, it's, uh, you're making me a little nervous uh, with that speech. Uh, but I'm very honored to be here. Thank you. Elvis invited you to play guitar for him. You'd started out age 14 professionally, Louisiana Hayride. Age 16, Ricky Nelson, you were in his band. And then uh, you were playing with the greats like Saint Frank Sinatra. I mean, everybody that ever has been heard, you were playing with them during the 60s. Elvis Presley said he wanted you to play guitar for the new band he was creating for his comeback, the TCB, Taking Care of Business Band. That's correct. You were in a struggle. You were playing with Frank Sinatra and at first had to turn him down. What a choice. The chairman of the board, the king of rock and roll. Not many people have that problem. Well, Mike, it was an honor when that was called. Um, uh, truly, I had to make a decision. Uh, and I was very busy in the recording studios. Uh, recording with a lot of artists and uh, I had to talk to my clients to to see if how that would permit me to be away from home and uh, so anyway I made the decision to to actually do that and uh, open Vegas with Elvis and you were with him until he died as one of his uh, guitar 77 what, what's the greatest memory you have of Elvis what is it you think of when you think of Elvis Presley in your time with him I just remember what a wonderful great person he was and really a true friend to me. I mean, he was fantastic. And uh, just working with him, being being in his presence, he was a truly a wonderful Christian man. And uh, it was really an honor to be with him and play with him for nine years. You used to talk about that he would carry around with him, and Rick Stanley mentioned this, a Bible. I mean, most people don't associate Elvis Presley reading the Bible, but he about wore the thing out, didn't he? And wanted to talk to everybody about it? That's true. You know, we would do two shows a night in Las Vegas at the Hilton, and he would invite us upstairs up to his suite after the second show, and uh, he would want to do, sing gospel all night, just sing gospel music. And uh, he would come out of his room with his Bible, and he would walk over to the piano and sit down, and J.D. Simon Stamps, and... Uh, every all the musicians and singers and they would be there and sing all these songs and uh, after we they would get through singing Elvis would want to talk a little bit about the Lord you know and he would bring his Bible out with him and he would sit there and quote scriptures out of the Bible word for word I mean it's amazing and uh, we were, he was very excited to put the word on each and every one of us and it he, was wonderful and he was also a practical joker he liked to play pranks on people oh yeah 